A bottle opener project is one of the most simple, most basic projects that you can make on a CNC. Depending on the style of bottle opener you decide to go with, you may need to make a slot for the bottle opener itself. There are many different ways that you could create the slot for the bottle opener. Since my channel is geared to the CNC, let me show you how I use my CNC to create the bottle opener slots. This is a clip from a previously shared video on how I created a circular bottle opener. So if you want to see that whole project, go ahead and click on the screen at the end of this video. But within that video, I shared how to create the slot for the bottle opener. There are many different files already created on the slots and you just have to resize it. And they probably range anywhere from one to five dollars. But if you want to save yourself a couple bucks and take two minutes to learn something new, go ahead and keep watching. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, guys, so jumping into Carbide Create. How did I create this? This is very simple. This is going to be the circle here that will be the slot or the pocket for the actual bottle opener and this space is actually going to be the space that will allow for the bottle cap to enter and then be able to be uh, opened so how did i create this let me go ahead and show you real quick first of all you're going to need the measurement of your uh, bottle opener right in my case it is 40 millimeters or 1.56 inches and so to find the radius it's just be half of the diameter so half of 1.56 is 0.78. So when we create our circle, let's go ahead and update the radius to the appropriate radius. So go ahead and figure that out. The radius again is just half of the diameter. So once we have the circle to the correct measurements, what we're going to need to do is now select the circle and we're going to go ahead and create an inside offset. Inside offset. What worked for me is an inside offset of 0.1. Once we have the inside diameter, the next step is to create a square vector. In this case, it's going to be square or rectangular. Typically, what you see with these bottle openers is that this vector here, this inner vector, has a longer top and a shorter bottom. So to be able to achieve that, it comes down to how we organize our uh, rectangles here. So what we want to do is we want to organize or you want to align this to what we think looks best. So that looks good there. All right, so now that we have this place correctly, we just want to copy it. So select it, Control C, Control V, and now we have a copied uh, vector and here we want to be able to uh, make it a little bit shorter so what we can do is just bring it down a little bit here and that looks good you can go ahead and play with it next what we're going to do is we're going to select the circle we're going to hold shift and select the top rectangle and we're going to select the boolean subtraction we're going to click ok now that gets rid of that rectangle but it gives us that flat top here next we're going to go ahead and keep the circle selected we're going to select again by holding shift the rectangle and then we're going to click on boolean subtraction again and now we have that slot that we wanted all right so let's talk about toolpaths i'm going to get rid of this one because i just wanted to show you how i got to this point so now let me show you the toolpaths that worked out for me we're going to start with the outer pocket first this is going to allow for the bottle opener again to sit into that pocket so let's talk about that one first i'm using a quarter inch up cut end mill down cut would probably be better but the up cut actually worked just fine and let's take a look at the uh, speeds and stuff. So for this initial pocket, we're going to have a max depth of 0 0.1. 0 0.1 seemed to work for this particular bottle opener. And the speeds, plunge and feed rates are 80, 90. All right, so let's take a look at the simulation. There's really not much to see here. It's just a pocketed circle. So now let's talk about this inner vector. Because I've already created a circle with a pocket depth of 0.1, to allow the CNC to just keep going without any bit changes or without having to reset my Z, I'm gonna have the other vector have a starting depth of 0.1. That way I don't have to change my Z X. It's just gonna start at the max depth of the previous pocket. And the max depth that we're going to now is 0.35. That seemed to work out for me. And again, the plunge and feed rates are 80, 90. And let's take a look at that simulation now. And there you have it guys. That is the slot for the bottle opener and the uh, additional pocket for, to allow for the bottle cap to enter and then be popped off. So let's go ahead and send it off to the machine and let's take a look at how it comes out.
All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that clip and were able to take something away from it. If you want to see how I completed that project or see how I started it and finished it, go ahead and click on your screen right now. Also, if you want to know how I created the American flag within the circle, go ahead and click on your screen as well. Thank you again, and I'll see you guys there.